As I've mentioned a few times, Apache Iceberg is a table format. And that's great, but it would probably be helpful if we knew what a table format is. So let's talk about it. So once again, we have our data lake. And again, our data lake is just a storage layer. So it could literally be your computer with a hard drive. If you store a bunch of files on your hard drive that have all your data, that's essentially a data lake. Okay, it's just a place to store data. Again, usually it's some sort of distributed system because we're talking about large institutions that have large amounts of data, but they're generally stored in data files. Okay, this could be like CSV, JSON files, but more likely for analytics, it's going to be in a file type called Apache Parquet files, which are really high performant analytics focused way of uh, storing data in files. Okay, so essentially I might have all these files here. But here's the thing, what if these files all represent the same data set? They all represent the same table. These files represent the same table. Okay, the data lake, the storage system doesn't isn't aware of the relationship between these files. They're just a bunch of files in the storage system. Okay, so then other tools, when they look at my storage system, they're not gonna know, hey, these files are table A, these files are table B, these files are table C. This is where a table format comes in. It allows us to group those files into unique data sets. So that way now a tool that is looking at my data lake can look at the table format metadata and be like, yeah, this group of files is that table. This group of files is that table. Okay. And that's a good start, but there's a lot more that this metadata, because at the end of the day, these table formats, they're not another file type. They're taking the data files you already have and then creating additional metadata on them. Now, what does it mean to have metadata? Okay, uh, metadata, basically what metadata is, it's essentially a collection of information about something else to make using that thing easier. So think about it this way. Imagine that in your kitchen, I have, you have lots of utensils, you have spoons, you have forks, you have all sorts of things in different drawers and different cupboards. Now I could just go look through all the different cupboards and drawers to find the right spoon, the right fork, but that might take me a while if I don't really know where everything is. But if I had like a little clipboard on the side that told me, hey, forks are in this drawer and spoons are in this drawer, that's going to save me a lot of time. Okay, so by taking a little extra time to look at the clipboard, aka the metadata, I save myself a lot of time looking for the thing that I'm actually looking for. So generally the metadata not only helps us, well, the metadata essentially helps tools, engines like Dremio to be able to kind of be more efficient in the way they search through your data and they provided all sorts of other useful data, okay? So a table format provides data such as like, what is the schema of these files? So like, hey, the different columns and fields within the table, are they text fields? Are they number fields? What type of data do they store? How are the files partitioned? So basically these physical data files, they might group the data. So for example, we're talking about voter data. We might decide to partition the data by party. So all the yellow voters are written in these data files all the blue party voters are written in these data files and all the red party voters are written into these data files. But they're physically they, they're physically separate files. That's partitioning when you write, when you group together certain types of data in physical files and the metadata will actually have information on that so that way it can take advantage and know, hey, which groups of files I really need to check for this particular question or query. And then it's also gonna have stats from those files such as like, hey, what kind of range of values do they cover? So maybe this basically covers zip codes between this zip code and that zip code. Uh, this, this, this file doesn't actually have any records in it. Uh, these kind of information that can allow the, the tool, the query engine, you know, like a Dremio, to be able to scan that data even faster. They give you data warehouse-like performance because it has this information to be able to scan the data more intelligently, okay? And that's essentially going to be the realm of what table formats provide you. They provide you a way of identifying groups of files as singular data sets, plus a metadata to scan those data sets efficiently. I'll see you in the next one.